Hey, this is the third in a series on the ORS skills. I've covered open-ended questions, affirmations, and now I'm going to do a little dive into reflections. Reflections. So one thing that I, I say a lot, you'll hear me say if you take my trainings, is when in doubt, reflect. Reflections are the most commonly used of the ORS skills. We guide the conversation with reflections. So what is a reflection? A reflection is a restatement of what the client has said. In motivational interviewing, we break it down to simple complex, simple reflections and complex reflections. So simple reflections are like the same level type of reflection. If a client says, I'm, I'm at the end of my rope right now, we may respond. A simple reflection would be, you are at the end of your rope right now, or you're feeling at the end of your rope. A complex reflection adds some sort of meaning or emphasis to what the client has said. If we're using the iceberg metaphor, a simple reflection is like what we see above the surface. It's what the client has said. A complex reflection is what is beneath the surface of the water. It is the deep mass beneath. It is what a client may mean but have, has not yet said. So in a complex reflection, we're making more of a guess at what that client means and we're adding some sort of meaning or emphasis to their statement. So if a client says, I'm at the end of my rope, a complex reflection might be like, you're not sure when you're going to fall off the end. Have you really scared about what's going to happen when things fall apart? Or you're trying to find a way to hang on right now. Or you're interested in talking today about how to climb that rope and get to more stable ground. So those are some examples of complex reflections. So a couple of tips in MI, again, when in doubt, reflect. The most common response to a client statement should be a reflection. Using the ORs, it's the reflections that we use the most. More than half the time, we're striving to have our reflections be complex over simple. And for every question we ask, we're striving to make at least two reflections. So it's not like a, a formula where you ask, reflect, reflect, ask, reflect, reflect. We're not robots. Motivational interviewing is not a prescriptive style of conversation. But what we're looking for in an overall MI conversation is to be reflecting more than twice for the number of questions that we're asking. So let me know how it's going. Good luck in your practice.